Okay, good morning everyone. I'm Catherine Ruiz and I'm a student nurse of Adventist University of the Philippines. And today I'm going to show to you a return demonstration of assessing the heart and the neck vessels and as well as the peripheral vascular system of my client. So in this assessment, the equipment that we will be using is of course our stethoscope. Make sure that the diaphragm and the bell are working properly. And also we're going to use um, this pen light. A working pen light and we have here two um, temporary markers and also our um, centimeter rulers make sure you have two at least two rulers and for the documentation we have here our paper and the pen and also lastly we need a watch with the second hand okay so now, uh, before I start the assessment, I ensure that I wash my hands properly and observe an appropriate infection control procedures and all throughout the assessment. Okay, so now I'm going to start the assessment. Okay, good morning, sir. I'm Catherine Ruiz and I'm a student nurse. I'm going to assess your heart and your neck vessels as well as your peripheral vascular system. Will that be okay with you? Okay, so before that, sir, before anything else, I would like first to verify your identity. Can you please take your name first? Okay, your name is uh, Gabriel Ruiz. Um, what is your birth date, sir? Okay, so thank you very much. Can I have your arms? Okay, so there. Okay. So, as I was saying, I'm going to assess your heart and your neck vessels as well as your peripheral vascular system. And in that, and in this assessment, sir, I would like to inform you that I need to expose some part of your body, especially your chest. And um, I also need to touch your skin, in your neck, in your chest, and also your upper and lower extremities or your arms and legs. Is that okay with you? Okay, so lastly, I have here markers. It is because I'm going to write something in your chest as a mark, okay? Okay, so before we start, sir, are you not comfortable with your position? Okay, do you have any concerns or... Okay, so that's good. Okay, to provide you privacy, sir, you are now wearing your patient's gown. I already closed the curtain and the door. And for your confidentiality, uh, I'll make sure that all the findings that will be gathered in this assessment will remain confidential and they will remain between you and me only and as well as the healthcare facilitators if necessary, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to start the assessment with the neck, with your neck. Okay, so you are now in a 40 degrees, in a supine position in 40 degrees. So I'm now going to locate for your jugular venous pulsation. I have here my pen light. So, sorry, sir, I'm going to expose your neck. Okay, uh, this time, sir, I need you to face on your left so I can have a clearer access with your neck. Okay, can you relax, sir? Okay, so now I am locating. Okay, yes. Okay, so I can see that it is not in. It is not. Distended, distended on the 40 degrees angle of your position. Okay, so now I'm going to measure um, your venous pressure, your jugular venous pressure manually. Okay, so now I'm sorry, sorry, I'm going to expose your chest, okay? Okay, so I am now locating, I'm going to locate for your angle of duty. Here is your notch. Okay, below this. Okay, this is your angle of Louis. Okay. I'm going to locate for the highest visible jugular venous. Because I'm going to place it here. This way. And this is low. Okay. So we have here. 3 centimeters, but I'm going to add 5 centimeters for your sternum. I'm just going to document it. Okay, so this is normal as well. So this time, sir, I'm going to auscultate for your carotid artery. 
bilaterally. Okay. Okay, so this time, sir, I need you to um, hold your breath for a, minute, for a moment, okay? Okay. So now I am... Okay, so now can you hold your breath, sir? Okay. Again, you cannot breathe. Okay, so this time, sir, I need you to hold your breath again. Okay, thank you very much. You cannot breathe. Okay, so I can hear the... So I can hear that your uh, both sides are um, in this... Are, uh, they have the same rhythm. And I didn't hear any groovy sound, okay? So now I'm going to palpate for your carotid artery um, just below your jaw. Okay, so now I am palpating it. We have here thirty-six times two seventy-two beats per minute. No, the other side. Okay, as well on your other side, you have also 72 beats per minute. So there, um, based on my palpation, you have regular regular rhythm and your amplitude is 2 plus, which is a normal findings. Okay, so now we are done with your, uh, with the palp palpation of your carotid artery. So now I'm going to... Um, proceed to assessing or pre-assessing your precordium. Okay, so now this time, sir, I'm going to expose your chest. Is that okay with you? Okay. So now I am exposing your chest. So this time, sir, I am just uh, locating for some sites that are uh, needed for our assessment. Okay, now for the pre-assessment of your precordium, I am now first going to look, I will now first locate the angle of the Wii. So here is your sternal notch and here's your angle of the Wii. I'm going to mark it as X. Okay. So there, there, um, in level with your angle of the Wii is your second rib. Okay, and just below it is your second ICS. Okay. So this is your atrial area. I'm going to mark it as A. And on the other side is your um, pulmonary area. I'm going to Mark it as B. And just below it is your herbs point. And also below it is your tricuspid area. 
And lastly, is your um, mitral area, but this time it is aligned with your mid clavicular line. Okay, so it is here. Okay. Okay, so this time, sir, I'm going to inspect your optical impulse for any abnormal pulse, abnormal pulsation. Okay, so I have here your mitral area. Okay, so I can, I didn't see any abnormal pulsation. And, okay. So this time I'm going to palpate for the optical impulse. Okay, here it is. Okay, it is three meters away from the point. Three centimeters rather. Now this time I'm going to um, palpate using my my palm or pulsation. So I'm starting with your natural law area. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I I didn't feel any user lift in your mitral uh, apical impulse, and as well as your um your tricuspid area, but, and in your pulmonary pul uh, I mean pulmonary area, and as well as your um atrial area, I didn't feel any in any. Uh, pulsation which is normal okay so i didn't feel any abnormal pulsation everything are normal okay, so this time sir i'm going to ask for take for abnormal heart sound in those specific site so i'm now going to use my stethoscope okay so i'm going to start with the diaphragm first which is um i'll be hearing Oh, the high frequency sound. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I can hear that the first heart sound is the loudest in the apical area or your mitral area. I'm going to um, I'm going to hear for your second heart sound, which is supposed to, which is supposed to be uh, loudest in the aortic or pulmonic area. Okay. So now I'm done. I, I can hear both uh, fir uh, first heart sound and S2, and I didn't hear any abnormal heart sound such as murmur. Now I'm going to proceed in auscultating for uh, of your precardium while palpating your left carotid. Okay.
Okay, so the pulse corresponds with the uh, S1, which is also normal. Okay, so now we're done with your um, chest. Now I'm going to proceed in assessing your arms and your legs as well as your hands and your feet. Okay, so this time, sir, can you please raise your hands, your arms? Okay, not this way, sir. Okay, with your other arms. Okay, can you lift it? Okay, lift it, sir. Okay, so I can see that your arms are, the color of your arms are um, even, and there are no color differentiation. I'm going to proceed with your legs. Okay, so with your legs, I can see, okay, can you have it here, sir? Okay, so I can see that the knee areas are darker than your legs and but it is okay and the color of your both legs are equal and now for your feet okay can I, can I see your feet how about the other one okay so I can see that the color of your feet are equal for both legs, okay? So no signs of cyanosis or hematoma, and uh, there, are no, uh, there are no signs for edema. Okay, okay. so this time, sir, I'm going to palpate your arms bilaterally for your temperature. Okay, can you? Okay, let's Okay, so I'm going to calculate the temperature of your arms. Okay, so your arm temperatures are one to touch. Okay, I'm going to proceed with your legs. Okay, so your legs as well are warm to touch. Now I'm going to proceed with your with the capillary refill. Okay, can you can I have your answer again? Okay, I'm going to start with your finger. Can you? Okay, spread it down. Okay. Okay, so it is within here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in your right hand, everything is normal. It turns back in within less than one second. Okay. 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 Okay, you have good circulation. I'm going to proceed with your feet. Okay. Can you bend your Okay. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay, how about the other one? Can you have your little sofa? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You can now stretch it out again. Okay, thank you very much.
Okay, so your capillary refill or did you have a good circulation? Okay, and I'm going to test for, I'm going to do some tests to you. To the modified Allen test. Okay, so can I have your answer? Okay, can you make a fist? Okay. Do you, do you like this? Okay. Now I'm going to uh, so this time, sir, I need you to um, release your hands once I said it, okay? Can you make a fist? Okay. Now I'm going to first release your radial pulse. Oops. Okay, so open. Okay, so it is good. Now next, again. Make a fist again. Okay, so this time I'm going to first release your own pulse. Okay, really? Okay, so it is good in there. Now on the other hand, can you make a fist? Okay. Harder. Okay, thank you. Now for the ulnar, can you release? Okay, so another one. Make a fist. Harder. Thank you. Now release. Okay, so thank you very much. You have a normal circulation. Now I'm going to proceed with your um, pulses. I'm going to palpate your peripheral pulses in both hands. Can I have your arms? Okay, I'm going to start with your radial pulse. Okay, in your own R. Okay, put the other one. Okay, first your radial. This one. Okay, and your own R. This one. Okay, so thank you very much. Now for the bracket. Okay. I'm to show them. Okay, how about the other one? Okay, so thank you very much. I'm going to proceed to palpate your pop with your pulses. Okay. Can you bend your feet here? Okay. Put the other one. Can you bend your Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. I'm going to proceed with your um, tibial pulse. Okay, this is your hand. Here it is. Okay, then for your Rosalis Bendis. For your Dorsalis Bendis. Okay, about the other feet. Okay, so thank you very much. Now, so based on my palpation, your 
uh, pulses are bilaterally strong. They are all the same. The amplitude is okay. We are pleasant stroke. And then they are all regular. And overall, we have normal findings. Okay, so now I'm going to proceed in inspecting your lower extrem extremities, starting with your legs. Okay, so now I am now inspecting your legs. And can... Thank you. Okay, so I can see that your hair are evenly, are equally distributed. And then... Okay, so you don't have any lesions. Okay, so you don't have any lesions. Okay, and I'm going to assess your feet for any um, edema. Okay, so this time, sir, can you please sit down for a moment? Okay. Thank you very much. Can you go to place this here? Okay, can you place your foot? Okay, so I can see that your uh, the size of your feet are equal and um, your prominent veins on both feet are present. Okay, so I'm just going to palpate for edema. Okay, so I I didn't know. I can I can see uh, no edema in your feet. Okay, so thank you very much. You can now go back to your position. Okay, so um now we're done, sir, with the assessment. Thank you very much for your uh, cooperation. Okay, so for the summary of the findings, okay, so we have here, okay, on your neck, uh, on the neck assessment, I, um, your jugular venous pulsation are not distended on the 40 degrees position, and your jugular venous measure in manually, it is 8 centimeter, which is normal, and, uh, while auscultating your carotid artery, um, I didn't hear any brewy sound, so it is not present. Your pulse is 72 beats per minute in both carotid pulse. And on the pulpate, and when I palpate your carotid artery, uh, I can I can feel a regular regular rhythm on both sides. The amplitude is two plus which is normal findings and in assessing your precordium um, uh, there are in mitral area there is a pulsation present and it is around three millimeters and um, in palpating your apical impulse uh, it is three centimeters away and there is a uh, present optical impulse in your uh, mitral area as well as in your uh, tricuspid area but no pulsation are felt in your pulmonary area and as well as your atrial area and I didn't feel any abnormal pulsation so it means that everything are normal and then in when I auscultated for abnormal heart sounds I didn't hear any uh, abnormal heart sounds such as murmur which is a good thing and it is uh, everything are normal and then next is um, based on inspecting your arms and hands um, I didn't see any color differentiation as well as your legs the, the color are equal on both legs and your knee are darker but it is normal and on your feet, I didn't see any signs of cyanosis, hematoma, or edema. 
the color are equal. And when I palpated your arms and your hands bilaterally, the temperature are warm to touch as well as with your legs. They are also warm to touch. And your capillary refill is good. It means you're, you have a good circulation. And when I did the Allen test, the modified Allen, te Allen test, um, your circulation or your uh, your redness of your hand turns within one second, which is a good thing, which means you also have a good circulation. And when I palpated your peripheral pulse, which is your radial pulse, your ulnar, your brachial, as well as your popliteal pulses and your posterior tibial pulse in your dorsalis pedis, they are bilaterally strong. They are all the same, the amplitude is okay, and they are all regular, which means uh, we have normal findings. And when I inspect your lower extremities, which is your leg, I can see that your legs has uh, your the hair in your legs are equally distributed. I didn't see any lesions. And for your uh, when I assess your feet for any edema, I didn't feel any edema, so it means you have a good circulation also in your feet. The size of your feet are equals. And that's all for the summary of findings. Thank you for your participation. Now I'm going to give this to our um, healthcare facilitators and I'm going to go back to you once I find the findings. Thank you very much, sir, for your participating. Okay, so after assessing, I am now going to wash my hands again and uh, bring these findings into to our doctors. Thank you for watching.